so it is officially the last hunt before the high caliber pack releases tomorrow and i thought we'd come here to emerald coast bantan crocs actually sandbar here now their class 7 plenty of opportunities to try to get that last diamond we're missing for the 300 ar and it's gonna be a little bit of a spoiler for tomorrow's video but i came here because kind of those same reasons and ended up with a pretty cool hunt and that has sort of inspired me to do this um kermit thank you for what did that say the 15 months before that goes away forever i swear it said am i dumb now it just says shoosties i swear it gave me a number either way welcome back man i appreciate you what's up silver thought my xbox broke because i thought the update dropped on the 7th well <laughs> at least dropped your uh, xbox is still working also along with the update i'm imagining you guys have seen it but apparently call the wild is releasing like a plushy thing from this map I can't decide if I want to get one or not. I'm probably going to end up getting it, but I wish there was like more Call of the Wild branding on it, as weird as that may sound. It's just the, like the, uh, Bravo the Roo or whatever. I don't know. I just wish it said Call of the Wild on it. They do have the official image. I think they posted it on their socials, but I think you can pre-order that as of tomorrow. What's going on, Mel? Once again, been disturbed. <laughs> don't blame me for that. Jeez. Albino Bantang, maybe. Uh, that would be awesome. I don't have a rare Bantang. I'd really like one. What's up, Active? Uh, what do you think you're going to get today? I am hoping to get either a Diamond, Bantang, or Croc with the 300. That would be kind of the ideal. What do I think we're going to get? I bet you we'll run into something. I say that because I think it was on Twitch, and it was probably three weeks ago or something like that. We hosted this map in multiplayer, and all in all, probably 100, 150 kills, which means there's a lot of fresh respawns on this map. I think it was two Diamond Fallow, Diamond, so oh no, two Diamond Bantang, two Diamond Fallow, one got messed up, a Melanist and Gold Croc somebody got, and I think I had a Troll Sandbar. So there was already a bunch of good stuff on the map. We had all those respawns, all those things shot. There's got to be some good stuff out here. What do you want to get today? Rare Bantang or Gold Rare Croc? I guess would be what I actually want. It's funny how they're all different things. My goal isn't even what I specifically want to get. Uh, grinding Black Bear right now, trying to get the Great One before tomorrow. 3k kills now, two Great Ones. Not bad, man. How's your day been? It's been good. Um, pretty excited about the results. Goodness, gotta buy some more ammo. Anyway, pretty excited about the results of what's going to be tomorrow's video. That should be fun. And uh, Steelers side Russell Wilson. So interesting things going on there too. Inevitably, there's going to end up being football talk in this video because it's the first day of free agency and things are actively happening. Um, but if I start talking too much football and you're getting bored, feel free to ask all the wild questions. I, the reason I'm saying that is I think sometimes we get into talking about like football or whatever topic and some people are like, I, have no, I don't even know what we're talking about. And then just feel like they got to wait till I'm done. You can ask whatever you want whenever. My great one fallow disappeared, so I'm grinding for a new one. Like, disappear from your lodge, or... Disappear, that's not good. Let's roll. It's gonna be here we go, for sure. It's literally already their thing. I sense a great one. It'd be funny if there was a great one on the map, but I mean, red deer and fallow deer, they're both out here. I don't kill a lot of either. Like, if I see a random decent four fallow going along, maybe I'll blast that, but... I guess you never know. Could, could result in one showing up. It did disappear from your lodge. I So that was a bug like forever ago. There were issues with lodge trophies disappearing, but I haven't heard of that in like probably years, honestly. Where should I shoot a turkey from a tree stand in classic? Um, are you using, what are you using? I guess that's the question. Cause if you have the crossbow pistol inside of 30 meters, literally any hit will drop it. If you're using like a, a bow of any kind, you want to go for the lungs. So right about where the wing meets the body. If you're using a gun, anywhere. Now you guys get Wilson. I'm like, I'm o I'm okay with it. I think it can work. Orange binos are kind of fire. I wanted something that sort of fit the channel. I can't really come up with a better, um, I guess, combination of colors or anything. So just went with the orange camo. What's the AR's weight? Um, I do want to buy more ammo. And before we get too far up here, I'm actually going to go do that so we can look. The oh, the rust belt, I get it. <laughs> nice. 
Oh, it's you. What's going on, Dip30? Did you or whatever that was, 2 a.m. hunt that you mentioned in Classic when you had like three hours before work? Did that yield anything? Saquon of the Eagles. That was the last thing I saw before I went live. That, you know, the Giants did that to themselves, honestly. They re-signed Daniel Jones and tagged Saquon. So whatever he does against them, it's kind of their own fault. I'm still not sure, like, how big of a deal that is for the Eagles specifically, but I guess we'll find out. There's a root in the way, and I'm also, I have no breath. That's what I thought. Anyway, what's the new update going to be? Well, it's the new weapon packs. That would be the 300 AR, the 10 gauge semi-auto, and the 4570 pistol. The update itself is called the pistol pack and update, I believe they call it. So there are speed loaders for a number of revolvers. There's the ability to fire a couple, uh, more than a couple, like some revolvers as double action now, whether you're hip firing or aiming down sights, so that's pretty cool. Whole bunch of animal class changes. There's, there's actually a lot of stuff in this update. Cousins of the Falcons, that's a big one. I think that could work. They have a legit, like, their roster is really good. Okay, so four units for the 300 AR weight before I forget that. We are going to buy probably a couple hundred rounds. We're not going to fire that many today, but 60, I think there's a chance we could go through if we really start firing. What do they about Mac Jones being traded from New England? I don't have much of an opinion on it. Like, it was pretty clear that relationship was fractured. Uh, Mac has no confidence. Probably good to actually go be a backup somewhere. Trevor Lawrence, he doesn't miss a lot of games, but maybe in preseason and stuff, maybe some end-of-game scenarios, Mac can come in and prove he is worth assigning for another team the recoil on the new 300 looks a lot better than the original which is better for grinding especially for console players i think that and you know i i can't even speak to it very much because i i have done some controller challenges and maybe i should do some more in the future honestly i don't know why i stopped doing that but uh point being i don't have a great concept of how difficult it is to grind on console i just know i'd be terrible at it because i'm not very good with controller anyway that's probably an under uh reported on that's a terrible word under covered aspect of this 300 ar it's how big it'll be for console grinders are the revolvers only double action or can you choose wish i had one on me uh you can choose so basically uh don't know why that scope's on there if you just aim down sights in like slow fire, it'll be single action. If you, I would say like spam fire, you got to do it pretty quick. It will fire double action. Opinion if we get a, if we got a way to buy, oh, like a bunch of ammo at a time. I don't know why we don't have that. That seems like a really obvious choice. I don't know what the heck game I was just playing. Oh my God, it was Pokemon on my Switch. You can buy like something i don't know what i was trying to buy but something in like bulk and i was like come on put it in call the wild i need it what's going on deadpool raven do you think the 300 should get penetration buff like kind of I I as far as realism goes it should probably perform better but as far as game balance and the fact that it's already insane i don't think it needs it I don't know if that... Oh, didn't really go where I thought he was going to. I don't know if that makes any sense, but... It's kind of how I see it. What's up, Brady? Did you see the Eagles got Saquon? I did. Russell Wilson opinion? So, like, I'm neither... I'm not sitting here saying Steelers are going to the Super Bowl. Neither am I, like... God, we're doomed. I think it can work. I want to see. Gonna Just going to see how things look. See how the rest of free agency goes. I think it's an upgrade. I'll say that much. But... Can it get them over the top, you know, if they got to play uh, Chiefs or Bills again, I guess, in the playoffs? That, I don't know. Sounds good, Mel. If Shadow barks again, I will personally throw hands at you. I'm going to, like, right in the middle of the stream, knock on my window and get her to go nuts. Right about the time you fall asleep. <laughs> Enjoy your nap. Uh, do you have the recoil perk and shotguns? Yes. That is worth knowing. All three. I, at some point, and I really need to update the uh, spreadsheets, not the spreadsheets, the perks command, the screenshots of all that in my Discord. I should also, now that I said that, I don't make the spreadsheets in my Discord because I saw someone ask about the animal classes. So just so we're clear, I'm not the one making those. That's community made. I just, as soon as I said update spreadsheets, I can only imagine. I'd get DMs, why haven't you fixed it? Anyway, 
At some stage, I think maybe when I was grinding Fallow Deer? No, even when I was grinding for Moose. I changed my perks a little bit to really optimize for grinding. That's when I, I think I went to all three in recoil management. It makes a big difference, it really does. Is the Hunter Classic the same as Call of the Wild? Uh, in very little ways is it the same as Call of the Wild. My personal opinion is that the Hunter Classic is the best hunting game ever made. It's the realism aspect, it's the random spawns, truly is the randomness that makes the game so good. Every single time you start a hunt on a map, it's a completely fresh spawn of animals. That aspect, like this is why I play almost exclusively multiplayer when I record videos. That aspect of the unknown is what I absolutely love about it, because it's, it's basically like hunting in real life. Can you have like a specific animal that you're targeting and patterning and all that? Sure. But you really, in real life, generally, you really never know if you're actually going to see that buck or that bull or whatever you're after. Kind of like in Classic, you just never know what you're going to encounter or in multiplayer. And I'm just like, I'm genuinely more excited and more anticipatory, I guess, when I play either Classic or Call of the Wild in multiplayer. That's why I do it. But almost nothing about the two games really is that similar. What's up, Joe? When's the DLC coming out? Tomorrow. Excuse you, I'm busy. Oh, nice of you to jump to the side. Which map is your favorite uh, out of Emerald Coast or Vranga? Probably Vranga. I do like this map. Actually, I like it a lot. But there's something kind of missing from it. You know what I think it is too? I think Sandbar, be Sam Sandbar Deer, my god, Sandbar Beer. If anybody wants to make that, I want 12% commission. Anyway, I think Sandbar Deer models and antlers are both too small. Look at the Sandbar and Way the Hunter. If you haven't seen them, they're so much more impressive than the Call of the Wild ones. But it's not just that. Like, weight-wise, they get about 60 kilo heavier at the max than Red Deer. If you put a Red Deer and a Sandbar Deer side by side, the Red Deer dwarfs it. That kind of stuff just kills the immersion for me. So I think maybe if they made the actual sandbar models bigger, and I don't know how we just dropped those two things, but uh, doing the animal class change to seven is a good first step. I would enjoy sandbar more, and I think that would help a lot. Like, when I say there's something missing, it's kind of crocs and kangaroos, and I guess, like, bantang opportunities. I just feel like there's something missing to really target. Classic been rough the past few days. Best thing I've had... I sat in the tree stand yesterday for a while. I think I killed like a 330 Rosie. I, I can't get much either. You could use a sandbar beer? Maybe when I stream on Twitch, I'll drink a sandbar beer. Best spot to hunt magpie geese? I mean, I haven't hunted them enough to tell you like, unequivocally, this is the best spot, but I've had pretty good luck right here. This is where I killed my first leucistic and... Was he a diamond? It might have been a troll. No, I think it was a diamond. Right here. And then... I had another set... Oh, yeah. I have another setup over here. The one issue you have with magpies is if you're trying to hunt them, you know, with a blind and stuff. When you're calling them in, crocs spook them. So, you kind of have to deal with the crocs in one way or another. What you can do is just fast travel to a tent. So, what I mean is shoot a root and everything will be fine. What I mean is, if you set up a tent right at your decoys, anytime you fast travel to any tent in Call of the Wild, no animals spawn within 200 meters of it. So that would be a decent way of making sure there's no crocs around. An albino diamond road you're on Hirsch. Have you posted that in Discord? That's awesome, man. 85 is the big rack, right? That'd be awesome if that's big rack. Uh, just bought Emerald Coast last month, and it's a fun map, however, deciding to buy Savannah today, and I wanted to get your honest opinion. I think you're going to love Varunga. I really don't get tired of that map. What's up, Billy? You came here for the Bantang, huh? I knew I could... I actually... <laughs> I was uh, running around the map earlier, and just sort of hoping to find a rare Bantang, and I thought of you and your grind. Did you ever... Did you ever get that? What's going on, Psycho? Is it... A confirmed time when the pack will come out? No, but it's normally like fairly early in the morning, at least Eastern time. Usually by the time I wake up, it's already out. You're my shower entertainment today. I'd, 
I'm glad to uh, oblige. <laughs> What's up, Otter? Pine trees in here as well. It's going good, man. Running around, killing pretty much every croc we can on the entire map at the moment, and hopefully Bantang will cooperate. I think we killed a couple at the start. Got a diamond saltwater croc, there you go. I'm hoping we can do the same today. I'd like to get our first diamond with the 300. And then also, like if we find a potential diamond, a red deer or something like that, the level four diamond wildebeest we killed with the 10 gauge. Like, yeah, that's a diamond with a 10 gauge and that's cool, but I want a better one because a level four diamond wildebeest is barely a diamond in my opinion. So we'll try to get something good there too. I doubt we'll try to use buckshot because buckshot kind of sucks, but you know. If there is a, I don't know, potential diamond fallow, buckshot would be the proper ammo. What a mess that was. 1800 Bantang with only four mellows. So what, that gives you about one in 450? I don't know if that's actual expected odds, but it's actually not terrible. Uh, wait, what? What time is it for you right now? 3.16 p.m., if that helps. Tomorrow for you, too. I am confusion. What's up, Andrew? Glad you can make it on it. I forgot you got that albino, though. At least you got that. Gator got mag dumped. <laughs> There's the one thing that can happen if they come into the wrong spot. All these roots from the mangrove trees, is that the right word? I think so. They just block, like, there's no... There's no through hitbox. So you can't shoot between the roots, I think, at least for most of them. So they kind of just block a bunch of shots. Is a 314 scoring water buffalo big? I shot it yesterday. Well, 314's not possible. The only way that could be a thing is if somehow you're playing on a really outdated version of Call of the Wild. What's your dream rare? I mean, my like the rare that I'm actually focused on getting is a gold rare croc or gator. Either, either of the two, and I don't even care what rare it is. I just really want one for the lodge. As far as like a specific... I mean, another albino diamond moose would be nice because I killed that one way before trophy lodges, and that's probably the super rare that it is kind of like the channel is best known for um considering i have one you know if i had to go a different direction i've always sort of wanted leucistic bighorns diamond cave buffalo i think that would look awesome what's going on mason uh camera i film with in real life is i think it's called a sony fdr ax 700 it's relatively expensive though I guess it depends I mean in camera world it's not expensive but it's expensive relative to you know a lot of things but it does a really good job like low light it does good uh, it can film in 4k a lot of different filming options and stuff I've I've generally been pretty impressed with it is 218 big for Sika that's pretty darn big At least I can watch stream today as we're slowly trying to drop frames. I don't know if that's YouTube or what. Hopefully you can watch stream today if the internet cooperates. I'll lower the bit range just a tiny bit. Why are we caught in crocs right now? I mean, we're just kind of trying to kill a diamond and as they come and attack us, we're going to smoke them. But once we get up out of the swampy area, we're going to be going after Bantang too. Biggest Zika, I think 216 or something. I want to say they get into the 220s, but I've never had a really big one. What DLC do you wish Call of the Wild would have? I still kind of think we need like a long range pack. Like I want a scope with better zoom. A spotting scope. Again, just effectively binoculars that can let us zoom in more. And then I don't even care what rifle caliber they want to add. Just give me a rifle that zeroes out to 400 meters. Now. We saw in yesterday's video, if you caught that, the 4570 pistol, when equipped with the Hyperion scope, if you zero to 200, that first mill dot down is actually dead on at 400 meters. So there's kind of that, but just give me one that can zero to 400. 
Uh, one more time, but slowly. Okay, so Sony FDR AX 700. Uh, Cody, thank you for the 19 months, by the way. Welcome back. Got a leucistic turkey right before your last stream on Mississippi. Nice. We can be leucistic. Was it a gobbler? I was going to say we could be leucistic gobbler twins. All these huge males. I want a 405 big medicine Winchester rifle like the one we have in Classic. My only thing would be, can you, like, realistically, could you put a scope on that? Like, would it be reasonable for Call of Wild to allow a scope on that? Because I think the reason the 470 is kind of underutilized is that if, that just, like, lack of range, I guess, because you can't put the scope on it. I think that follow-up must have been a touch late because it didn't get along. That sure did. Just started my fallow grind. Where did that go? Uh, already got three diamonds and around 100 kills. Not bad. They do make an AR platform in 338 Lapua. That would be nasty. Well, I don't know why I'm going this way because he's going to float over there. Literally jumped that leucistic on Mississippi. I, like, I'm pretty sure I actually bumped into it. I'd like game modes in Call of the Wild, for example, Driven Game. So not game modes in the sense of difficulties, you're talking about like... Maybe one for drives, one for... I don't know if like stand hunting makes any sense as a game mode, but I think I'm picking up what you're putting down. They use two side mount scopes to the Winchester 405. I'd be, I'd be all for it then. They sort of have that side mount thing. It's not exactly a side mount, but they sort of have something like that going for the 30-30. Uh, I think for the... 4572. Not the golden tree stand, but this time I'm watching your stream instead of editing. Well, hopefully there will be some decent luck. I've been, like, most of the hunting I'm doing on Whiteheart when I edit, it's not in the golden tree stand, it's in, I actually have a stand right next to the tower so I can be in the tree stand and stuff walk under me, but uh, the field directly east, like straight across the map from the golden tree stand, there's a tower there and then I just have a stand in the tree right next to it. I get more animals there than at the Golden Tree Stand. Less coyotes, though. Actually, like, no coyotes. What's up, Mr. Biffin? Packers released Aaron Jones for Jacobs? I think it's an injury thing. Like, as soon as I saw that signing, I think that's why they did it. Aaron Jones can't stay healthy. Jacobs has been largely durable. And he's kind of like a combo of the two. He's not the receiving threat that Aaron Jones is, but he's got, the, like, the lower body that, uh... Quadzilla, what the heck's his actual name? A AJ Dylan. <laughs> Jeez. Thoughts on a caribou great one? I would be all over that. I think. So here's the thing. Here's when it comes to adding new great ones, there's two aspects of it. The actual great one itself that could be really cool. And the potential of like getting to grind for something like that. But then also, pretty much every species that gets a great one first gets a model rework. So or Soon after it gets a model rework. Both Whitetail and Red Deer got little reworks after the uh, Great Ones came out. Black Bear got one before. Moose got one before. Um, Fallow got one before. Or at, I think at the same time. So, Caribou need to rework badly. There's a couple of other species too. Roosevelt Elk. Really and Rocky Mountain Elk. They need reworks. So that's another reason I've kind of liked the idea of those getting a Great One. Caribou fall into that exact same category. They just don't look good. Not tip Nice. Hopefully I didn't wake Mel up. <laughs> she might be asleep and not know this happened. Um, Mule Deer, great one. You know, Mule Deer don't need the rework as badly, though they could use it. Their faces just look a little funny to me. What's up, King Patriot? Did the Cowboys sign Derrick Henry? So I saw... That's funny. The Titans got Pollard. So they just swapped running backs, basically? Love the racks on them? See, I don't as much. Like, they're okay. I just feel like the frames are wrong. Like, they're all too narrow. If you look at a lot of trophy caribou, some of them things are like three, four feet wide. I don't know if they're actually quite three or four feet, but they're, they're huge. All the Call of the Wild ones are kind of narrow compared to that. Like, I actually, if you look at the reindeer in Classic, I think they did it better then Call the Wild did their true Rex. Elk could be cool too, 
really like that field south of the Golden Tree Stand. So that's actually what I've been doing when I'm editing. I go to the, the one I talked about at the tower. Lately, I'm just skipping the Golden Tree Stand entirely and going to that one south that you mean. Loadout for this map. Um, I mean, currently, this isn't the loadout I would use, like, long term, but I've just got all the new weapons. So I've got the 300, 4570, 243 for coverage, and the 10 gauge. Just put in for a Colorado Muley permit. Ooh, nice. Are there a ton of differences from PC and console version to Call of the Wild? I, well, I'm assuming you know the games themselves are exactly the same. The differences would just be like how effectively you can play. So, at least for me, and I would say for most people, not everyone, but for most people, aiming and shooting and just like accurate, quick, on target shots are more easily accomplished with mouse and keyboard. Console movement's easier, driving the ATV, if you do that a lot, I'd say that's easier on console, but that's, ah, that in performance, like, you know, better frame rates and all that, that's about the only advantage PC gives. Just shot an albino seek a deer, nice, I've always wanted one and I can just never get one. Was it a male or a female? So you still sit in a tree stand when editing, oh yeah. Killed a uh, almost 69 scoring turkey the other day. Best kill in a while for, for editing related things. The thing that's killing me though, my editing software likes to crash. It's Sony Vegas whatever 21 Pro, which, you know, it's kind of an expensive software and it's kind of a high end software. So the fact that it crashes all the time is kind of ridiculous. I don't know why it just does. It seems like if I do, if like if I move too quickly, like if I'm, you know, clicking all around, adding transitions, and not giving it time to kind of catch up. It just crashes, locks up a lot. Anyway, if it does that, while I've already got Classic open, it cuts the sound from Classic, and it basically ruins my hunt because I need to rely on being able to hear footsteps to know to tap back into the game. I'll play on PC instead of PS5. I would definitely recommend that then, if you have both options. If you started out on console and like you were maybe looking to go to PC, I would say only if you're going to use the PC, you know, as your main gaming console anyway, but if you can go either way, I'd go PC. Female? Still nice, man. They're crazy rare. Bagged my first diamond saltwater croc last week. There you go. Congrats, man. Hoping we can do a little bit of the same. Is whatever she's tearing up her toy? Okay. Shadows being shadow. A 243 AR would be sick. Do you think it would, like this is a genuine question, do you think it would offer enough advantages over the 223 AR to be used a lot? Is it mythical? And a little <laughs> submarine one. Should I swap out the Zarza for the 7 mil? Uh, if you're on a map with a class 9 animal and you need class 9 coverage, then yes, otherwise I would say no. Trigger turned one yesterday, really? Well, a little happy birthday. Plenty of trolls, that's that's just the way it goes sometimes. A bit more pop, for sure, yeah, like I, I think, uh, the 223 is two to four now, right? It used to be the same as the 243, but I think they did change that. Being able to maybe shoot some bigger stuff or just be more effective on the class two and three things would be nice. I don't know how often I need a 243 for any of those things. I gotta just learn to go for neck shots. I can do it, I know how to do it, but I just consistently go for lungs instead. Shadow's birthday, uh, last, what, it's November 10th or whatever. I was gonna say last month, God, that was like four months ago. I think it's November 10th, pretty sure. What have I missed? A whole bunch of crocodile shooting, a couple of bantang, nothing big yet. That's gonna float all the way back there. Come on, sit up here, come here. Come here. You're weird. Seeing all these five mediums are giving me PTSD for my last muley grind. Did that one not die? It gets me though too, like, 
any of the three very easy gets me a lot because you're just so used to like with anything that maxes at three you see it so rarely and then especially things that max at nine you also see that rarely because usually they're higher level than that i think it also like there's e's in there there's it ends in a y i kind of think it says legendary at a glance ready for turkey season in real life I, I mean like am i excited for it and do i want it to be here yes am i ready for it i got a lot to do yet i got a lot of practicing to do i need to uh i want to repattern my shotgun again there's something else i just talked to aaron about it like yesterday i don't know one more thing i want to get accomplished before the season starts though Uh, for classic, will there be animals coming in infinitely when calling from a hunting tower or a tree stand, or do you need to switch spots every once in a while? Like, to a degree, there will be animals coming in infinitely, but you'll kind of eventually kill most animals on a spot, and you're going to be better off switching. What's going on, JTAC? What shotgun do you plan on using for turkey season? See, I don't even know the exact model, which is probably pretty lame on my part, but... Um... So I had a, I don't even, a Mossberg, maybe 535. I, I forget exactly which one it was. Anyway, I've just, I always had problems with the thing. I can never get consistent, pa consistent patterns out of it. I can never get consistent accuracy out of it. So I finally, last spring, maybe two springs ago, two springs ago, I think, I finally bit the bullet and bought a new one. It's a TriStar or something, but I just can't remember exactly what model. Just another, you know, 12 gauge pump. Turkeys are so smart. It kind of makes you feel bad because they have a brain like the size of an acorn. <laughs> but yet, they outsmart you most of the time. But, that, like, that's hunting generally. Most of the time, like, I tell Kyla a lot. If she gets frustrated when we're hunting, I'm like, it's a marathon game. We're going to lose most of the time. But we will be more persistent. Is Shadow a hunting dog? She wishes she was bought you a number three jersey yet <laughs> i'll have to think about that myself oh that was a big whiff have you talked about russell wilson yet a little bit nothing my i've kept my answer short because i could probably just go on and on about it i'm neither like you know proclaiming that the steelers are going to the super bowl nor am i sitting here saying we're doomed i just think it can work i'll i'll see attitude wise and stuff you know like is there going to be a genuine quarterback competition or how all that's going to go blew the spring out of my tristar 20 gauge semi auto well, that's not encouraging what was your first ultra rare so technically ultra rares are great ones with rare fur types i'm assuming you're talking about super rares which are diamonds with rare fur types my first was actually a melanistic diamond kudu Way back in the day. <laughs> Him and Dak, you're gonna have to fight it out for the use. Here we go. I keep forgetting, like, that's just Dak's cadence. Did you see Dak's new, like, haircut beard thing he had going on, by the way? TriStar pumps are a great value. I think I paid 300 something dollars. It's, like, it has been a genuinely, like, consistent gun for me. I used it rabbit hunting. Every time I've shot it, like, it patterns well. I think every rabbit I've shot at... No, I did miss one. Other than that, every rabbit I've shot at, I've gotten. I did sort of oof on a turkey, but that was my own doing. I may have forgotten to switch back to the turkey joke, so... New rabbit gun before next year, so I don't do that. But, um... Yeah, it's... It has impressed me. I didn't even know TriStar, like... like I didn't know that was a gun manufacturer, to be honest. When I bought that one, I had never heard of them. And obviously, like, I'm replacing a Mossberg, which is a pretty well-known shotgun manufacturer. And that, I'm telling you that Mossberg had something wrong with it. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but I had issues with everything from, like, you know, squirrel and rabbit loads to three and a half inch turkey loads, everything in between. Jalen Hurts with no beard looks weird. I don't like it. He needs to grow his beard back. <laughs> it doesn't, I don't know what the deal is, but it just ain't right. Remember the diamond albino moose? That one... 
It'll always be special because I knew it was a diamond first. That was the cool thing about it. I didn't even realize it was albino. Like, I just saw the big rack. Wes can yell pizza? Wait, why? What great one would you like in the game? We were just talking about it. Like, there's a couple of great ones. The species generally get, like, a model rework or at least, like, fur rework before the new great one comes out. And there's some species that badly need that. Roosevelt and Rocky Mountain Elk. Caribou we talked about. Um, even Wild Boar could honestly use one. Any of those things would be cool. Outside of that, though, I want a Mule Deer Great one. I, I don't think they need the rework as bad, but it would look amazing. Maybe I saw a meme then too, Bottom Boy. I don't know. Get those crazy snow squalls? Yeah, we it, it got pretty nasty out. I spent my day yesterday. I knew it was going to be junky weather. So the first thing I did was I pumped all the fuel from the, like the heating fuel from the outside tank to the inside tanks because we have one outside one, otherwise we wouldn't be able to have enough for the winter. That, I don't know how, but I, like, I hyper extended my left elbow and that hurt so bad <laughs> from doing all that. But anyway, then I cleaned out the garage. I mostly parked my truck in the garage. This garage was probably built 70 years ago and like trucks, it might've been 50 years ago, but trucks just weren't as big as they are now so my truck I can pull it all the way in if I fold the mirrors in I can't shut the door though anyway I did that and by the time I was done with that me and Shadow were getting snowed on pretty bad you have to pay for skins every time you change them even if you previously had the skin yes that's why so my monies have gone up a little bit here but that's why the amount of money I've been getting in Call of the Wild lately has been much like a much slower rate because I'm not grinding in my off time anymore. We have one of every great one, so I'm not great one grinding. That was where a lot of money came from. And then every video, I use about as much money customizing all my different weapons for the video as I earn from the whatever diamonds or animals that we kill. I don't know why Shadow's trying to bark, but I'm not going to let her up here. Are you still dating Killa? Nah, she's just here. <laughs> We're engaged, actually, so I don't know if that counts as still dating. I guess it is. <laughs> Last time you did not think that was funny when I said that. What? Someone asked if you were still my girlfriend, and I said, no, you're my fiancé, but the look I got in between saying that. <laughs> Why didn't you get an 870? Um, because... I'm kind of a procrastinator, and I think when I went to go get the shotgun that I did get, it was like a week or something before turkey season. It might have been a little further out. But I didn't have a lot of time, and the two guns they had, that TriStar kind of suited my needs a little bit better. I don't actually remember the other one they had. They had more than two shotguns, but as far as 12 gauges that would be able to have at least like 3-inch shells, and I don't remember if I actively wanted a pump or not. I think I did. Semi-automatic will work too, but... Set up a shadow cam? I want to. The thing about it is, like, I need to... I want to put, like, a little background or something, because either the camera faces, like, towards the door, and you never know if someone's feet are going to be in the camera walking around. We can't have that. Honestly, yeah, that might be a good idea. That's a, that's a really good idea. Come here. Engage equals does not equal dating. That's what exclamation equals, right? That's that's a coding thing. Ugh. Hyper extended elbow must be a small male thing. I guess so. I felt pretty lame about it, but like it was hurting a lot. How did that end up way over there? Oh no, I killed one over there. Never mind. Any big boys yet? Nothing uh, specific to speak of. Kitman, thanks for... That's renewing your membership. I see that uh, red badge. Welcome back, man. Even though it says new, I appreciate you. Can you keep trophy shot in early access? This update, yes. Kind of a, a rare opportunity, I suppose. Normally, we can't keep them, but in this case, we can. So the... Hello there. The uh, diamond warthog and wildebeest that we killed, those will be trophies we actually get to keep. Being able to customize binos is going to be great. I like it. I think the uh, I think the orange looks pretty nice. 
I think it's going to be cool for creators that can kind of, you know, at least go close to their channel theme color. That's why I've got the orange camo. I, it's at least sort of like what we normally do. I'm going to mess with some other options eventually. Oh, congrats, Silver. I don't... I remember last time you were in the stream. I don't know if you told me you were engaged, though. You might not have been. Setting up a whitetail grind is such a pain. Kylo put off grinding for whitetails for a long time because of that. And then she killed two in, like, two weeks. So what I'm saying is, it's worth it. Uh, playing on latent lakes right now, what's the best animal to hunt? Good question. Like, uh, Roosevelt Elk, there's, they're unique to latent lakes, so that would be one. Um, Whitetail and moose are very abundant. Blacktail, too, unique to, to latent. They drink, by the way, late in the day. I think 16 or 1700 they start, so that's something you can maybe look for. And bear. So, somebody mentioned this in my comments, and I, they had a really good point. They're kind of less than pleased that EW didn't do a pop reset for the black bear. And, I, like, I see both sides of it. I get, you know, someone who, especially herd managing, because if you're just great one grinding and you don't herd manage, it's probably not a huge deal to get a pop reset. But if you've been herd managing and you've got your zones exactly how you want them and all that stuff, having to redo it for a zone time change, maybe that's annoying. The thing that sucks, though, is it kind of hurts casual players. Like, in my case, and I I don't care about my own situation that much, but for anybody that plays like me, too. Like, if you play a lot of multiplayer, you just want to join a map and kill bears drinking in the daylight, most aren't going to be. Because most people who aren't grinding aren't going to bother to shoot all their bears and get them to drink at the new time. At least not for months until they just randomly opportunity kill a bunch. So that's going to be a bit of a bummer. Do the new guns come out tomorrow? Yes. Doing a great one bear grind on Mississippi. I'm speaking of daylight drinking bears, that will probably be much easier when they have the new uh, drink time as of tomorrow. There's like 10 squirrels in my backyard. I'll get my pellet gun. Found a diamond turkey. Nice. I can't remember. I had a bunch of big twos on the fallow grind. I don't think I ever killed a diamond turkey. Started playing Tearoa again after a year. Forgot how easy it is. Opinion on the map? Kind of that. <laughs> Pretty easy map generally for like red deer and fallow. Um, one kind of, I guess, maybe bothersome thing for me with Tearoa. I just, I think it needs one more species. The whole Himalayan tar thing. I don't know if you guys, if you didn't play Call of the Wild when Tearoa came out. You might not even know this, but there was a mission. If you've done the tail roll missions, you may know this much. There's a mission where you have to track a person and a lot of maps have that. But when you would get the person's tracks, the icon that came up instead of like the human one, I think it says homo sapien and normally it's whatever human weight range. It was instead a picture of a Himalayan tar. And everybody took that as a hint, like, oh, we're getting tar. I just, like, we need that one additional species. That's the one thing that kills me for that map. Like, I just, I don't know what happened to them, but it would have been really nice if we got them. Great starter map, but Himalayan tar, there you go. It is good for starters, though. Nothing higher than class six, so you can use your 243 on all those things. So many fallow deer, red deer. I mean, honestly, even turkeys that you can get in abundance level up pretty quickly. I thought they said it'd be too hard to model the fur. They may have. I can never... I can never remember. There's different things, like, you know, the engine would be a problem for certain species. and I kind of remember them saying the fur thing, but I couldn't remember if that was that or people asking about muskox. Wave Hunter didn't technically do tar correctly, Billy. Like, Tar typically have more shaggy fur. I think Way the Hunter came up with a really clever solution to do Tar and make them look good. It's just that they didn't do maybe exactly what would have been ideal. Do you have to unlock the lodge, or how do you get it? The trophy lodge? Uh, are they all DLCs? I think they are. Well, there's two, but I think they're both DLCs. 
New Zealand has, I never know how to say it, Arab power rams or whatever. I do know what you mean by those. That'd be another one I think that could look good. New Zealand also has elk. Yeah, I'm kind of glad Call of the Wild didn't do elk on Te Aro. It just, they, don't, they feel out of place. I know they're there, but it just doesn't... It seems weird. We are 45 minutes in. We'll get, I think, all the way up along the beach at around the one hour mark. And then we're going to start to just go around to a bunch of spots. You know, I shouldn't have done that. Because he's going to try to float over here. Fixed it. You seem weird. Thank you. Did I miss anything? Nothing to speak of yet. We've killed a whole bunch of crocodiles, a couple of bantangs, but no big males. Me and the gym aren't friends anymore? Wait, why? Is the Leighton Lodge a DLC? That one is free. Kind of forgot that existed. Gotta say Arapawa the same way TK does. See, I can't think of how he says it. That's <laughs> I'd have probably just used his pronunciation otherwise. What about Aldad being added? What are they even native to? Like, I only know them from Texas ranches. I actually don't know where they're from. Do we have a map that would make sense currently? What's going on, Diane? Day's going good. How about yours? School is boring. That's what they tell me. Uh, I think it would have been cool if the tail roll moose had a much different model. Yeah, it is kind of piebald like. I'll give you that. What's up, Adam? Thank you for becoming a shusty. Welcome, welcome. Good to have you here. If you are not already in the Discord, be sure to join that as well. Link up for YouTube, get the member rule, take advantage of that good stuff, and enjoy the green name and emojis in chat. Oh, now I got you, JTAG. Yeah, I mean, I was just doing home workouts. I never even went to the gym, but when I got whatever I lost, when I lost like 40 pounds and got into decent shape in 2021, it was really, it worked out really well. Like, I got into the best shape of my life and then killed a huge male on, on video, and now I've gained some of the weight back, but, um... Yeah, I also sort of am burnt out on it. My workout is mowing the grass now. No floating for you. Are the hunting stands worth it? The tree stands and tripods? If you do great one grinding, I would say they're very much worth it. If you don't do great one grinding, eh. Not as important. I never even saw that in chat. Hello again, man. Thank you for becoming a member as well. Did that come up in chat? I don't think so. Well, thank you, man. Good to have you here. And uh, obviously, I'm sure you just heard the spiel, but be sure to join that Discord as well. Flab tro. Yeah, I got to lose weight before we get married this year. I got to lose weight and then just keep it off. But It's just like food is so good. Why did they make it that, that way? It's not fair. Workouts putting tree stands up. Yeah, during hunting season, I can I do a better job of staying in good shape because it's just hiking around and climbing into tree stands every day, and I carry a pretty heavy pack with all the camera gear and stuff. In the off season, though, it's just up until the summer. Gotta gotta be careful. Gotta fit into the wedding suit exactly. Already there in the court of dis. Excellent. I'm impressed with myself that I even knew what the heck that meant. Uh, what advantages does the 300 have over the 338? So, I'm assuming you're asking about the 300 canning magnum, the bolt action. They're very, very similar. As far as the damage and stuff, they do almost exactly the same. The biggest difference is the fact that the 300, when you work the bolt and chamber another round, the animation is less impactful, is less jarring, kind of. And all that means is you can get a follow-up shot off a little bit more accurately, a little bit more quickly with a 300. Now the 300 AR that's coming out, it fires way faster, it's got way less recoil. Uh, you know, damage-wise, it's still about the same. But, uh, I hit the water. That's a, that's a pretty significant difference, being able to shoot really fast and with low recoil. Same weight on the same month every year, but I definitely gain it in the summer and lose it in the winter. That makes sense. I mean, that's still, like, that's a perfectly fine pattern, I think. Those deer season snacks uh, always make the turkey vests hard to squeeze into in the spring. 
I don't know if I'm as bad about it now. I used to be so bad with deer season snacks. I would like, especially when I lived in my apartment too, because I, I was literally like a minute from the grocery store. So I would just stop in after hunting and I would get all the snacks. Oh, no breath. But anyway, my, uh, <laughs> what I would do is I would break up the day into, like, two-hour sections. So I'd say I'd get there at daylight, whatever, 7 o'clock. At 9, I'd have one of my snacks, and at 11, I'd have a snack. And there were, like, five or six, and it just probably wasn't the healthiest way to do it. How much longer are we streaming? Uh, about an hour, yep. Man's gotta eat. I mean, when you're sitting in the cold, <laughs> and you ain't seeing nothing, sometimes it's a good way to get you through Grocery shopping while hungry? I know, like, th that is an actual psychological thing. Like, you're better to grocery shop when full. I try to make an effort of eating before I go, but, you know, sometimes there's just not the time for that. All right. Let's just kind of... I want to go through Bantang territory for sure. So let's go maybe from this tent and then up. What kind of multi-mouse do you wish to be added? Um, way the hunter has something like this, but a bear on a moose carcass, specifically black bear, because both have the great ones, that would be kind of cool. Uh, I think just more huddle mounts. Like, I don't get why we don't have a huddle mule deer. That would be nice. Um, I guess huddle elk, would that fit? I think you can make that fit on the large platforms. It seems like a pretty easy multi-mount to make, so I'm not sure why they haven't done some of those. Maybe, you know, elk fighting like we have for deer fighting. Moose fighting, they might be too big to fit on the plaque. For the platform, rather. Best snacks or staying snacks? You're not wrong. We get gushers once a year, and it's sometime around the beginning of rifle season. That's not my snack, by the way. Moose fighting would be elite, though. I do think one of the challenges of doing... Like, moose fighting would be the extreme variance in racks and also the uniformity of those racks, and by that I just mean palmation. I think you'd have a lot of clipping unless all the poses just don't have the racks kind of impacting, and that probably ruins a bit of it. Best spots for whitetail deer in Call of the Wild? I mean, honestly, what map? Is there a specific map, or are you just wondering, or are you letting me have full range, like, pick a map and a location? What's up, Griff? Coco's here as well. Welcome on in. Only time I break out the Little Debbie snacks is, is November. Yeah, you know, there's not a whole lot of a better thing to look forward to in the middle of the day when you haven't seen the deer yet. <laughs> I like to keep my hunting snacks only semi-edible so I'm less tempted to eat. <laughs> Bring something you actually don't like and then just break down and eat it anyway. Uh, is it just me or do spirit brown bears look like giant raccoon dogs? A little bit. I know what you mean. You know what I haven't had? I haven't had a rare kangaroo. Wrong gun. The best hunting stacks are the loudest. Yeah, that's kind of a problem. I had a really good system, though, in 20... Must have been in 2020. No, I didn't think it was. Nah, could have been. Either way, 2019 or 2020. I had like a little, you know, like your regular size storage Tupperware thing. I had one of those things that I was just making my lunchbox because it perfectly fit in the one compartment of my backpack. And I would just unwrap everything prior to going hunting and just put it in there. Much quieter. Why don't I do that now? 
I usually don't plan things out that far ahead, and I, like, as I'm going out the door, I throw whatever hunting snacks I'm gonna have for the day in my pack. Alright. Don't know where that thing was, but I kind of wanted to know. Or I'll make it super inconvenient. It's honestly, it's not a bad idea. I might... Bottom of the backpack snack? I might need to incorporate this method. Kangaroo with a crocodile in a headlock multi-mount? That actually would be kind of cool. <laughs> I don't know if it would fit like size-wise. I don't know if the crocs are small enough for the kangaroo's arms to make that work, but that's a pie bowl. <laughs> Why not? Uh, you know, I don't. I was gonna use the 10 gauge slugs just for fun. I don't trust them. I'm gonna use the 4570. What would be the best tier three to six rifle? You're not asking me to come up with a new one, right? You just want something for tier three to six in the game? I'd probably say the 457, or sorry, the 44 lever action. New gun got me all confused. That should do it. It's killing that really fast. That ain't bad. Like, red deer are not weak little creatures by any stretch. I remember grinding for a great one red deer with the M1. Almost exclusively, I used the M1 for the entire 5,000 some odd kills. You usually have to track them a little bit. Mosin? So the Mosin's the other option there. I I have just had issues with accuracy with that thing in the past. It's not, never consistent, just here or there, something happens and the round just seems to miss, and I've never been able to figure out why. That is a real problem, <laughs> depending on what type of hunting you're doing, bottom boy. Like, in a saddle it can be especially hard. <laughs> you, got, you really gotta maneuver up there well. Because I'm sure not climbing back down, that's annoying. Biggest Rocky? Uh, Call the Wilder Classic. I just wish the piebald stags looked this good. Piebald hinds, and this is the, ca the case in both Classic and Call the Wild. The piebald hinds look better. Like, it's just such a nice piebald. Double lung with the 4570, not bad. I don't really have any reason to tax it, but I'll screenshot it. Didn't miss anything. That right there is the first significant kill. Killed a whole bunch of crocodiles, probably 25, 30 of them. A couple of Bantang. No, uh... No diamonds or even trolls. But a little piebald hind will always take. Can you share your skills and perks? I can throw them up on screen just quickly if you want to take screenshots. Uh, keep in mind, in my Discord, if you go into the Call of the Wild chat, you can do exclamation mark COTW perks, and there's screenshots of all my skills and perks, but while we're running up here and not actually shooting anything, I can kind of have them up here. And the good thing is about a YouTube VOD, you can go back and rewind if you have too much easier than on Twitch. Uh, I'm stuck. A safety harness. The safety harness I have is a, like a vest style, so it's not as bad, but the ones that are just like the straps, I can't even get those stupid things on to begin with. How are the laws in your state? Wayne hunting deer with a handgun? I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea. I know next nothing about the handgun laws in this state, for, for hunting anyway. I'd like to find, so um, I already talked about it early on in the stream. Tomorrow's video will also be Emerald Coast, it was actually a, a pretty fun little hunt. But I learned something regarding sandbar deer, and I kinda wanna show you guys that I needed sandbar deer. Do black bears show up in their new zones right away if you haven't found their old ones yet? So, I don't think so. Um, the way that I believe it works is that as soon as you hunt a map, like, from the very first time you ever hunted, say, Silver Ridge Peaks, probably the map that maybe matters the most for black bear, if you've ever been on there, your animal population is already uh, determined, and a bunch of those zones are already going to exist. So I, I don't think, I don't think they're going to just show up in the new ones. I'm pretty sure you'll have to kill them. I could be wrong there, but I, because it seems you got to get the respawn, I imagine you got to shoot them.
Do you think Nepal will maybe be the next map with tigers? I don't know if they'd add tigers. That that one does not seem like the most EW move. Do I think Nepal is going to be the next map? So I was... I think I was hunting in Indiana, maybe. Like, like I was out of town when that whole thing happened. I can't actually remember even where I was. I didn't even look into it that much. But the thing that, like, made people say that, it was that survey that had... What the heck was it? Some kind of muntjac deer or something? As a potential next great one? And then they removed it, which made it even more suspicious. I don't know if that means anything, frankly. But, I mean, I guess if that's a clue... Could very well be Nepal. Are pink pigs rare? I think all are now. It used to only be male, but I'm pretty sure female uh, pink fur is also rare. Imagine the SRP revival if they would make a bench leg great one and make Muley Drink Time four hours long. Oh boy. What? Well, Muley Drink Time now is what, three? I think it's 15 to. Is that right? 15 to 18, something like that. Give us an extra hour. And Great One Mule Deer. I just... How could Great One Mule Deer not be amazing? You literally can't mess that up. What's that, Reinhardt? Red Munchak was the one that was deathly sus when they removed it. I've just, like... I don't put it past EW to try to lead us down the wrong trail because they've done that a couple of times. Like, intentionally mislead us so that they can really, you know, say drop the hammer and surprise us big time. Muntjac is just such an odd... Like, here's here's the thing. If it... To me, if it were... Uh, I gotta come up with it. What the heck? Tool Elk? I don't know. Something that's not in the game that would be an impressive great one? Sure. In what world is a Muntjac like a great one that anybody wants? They're tiny little... Do you know what a Muntjac is? Like, it's a really tiny deer. I can't imagine why that would be something that would actually be... Like, at all in the plans? So it's one of two things. It's either a complete, like, misdirection hint. Or an intentional clue. I think there's no in-between. I just wouldn't be shocked if it's a misdirection hint, because I don't know why someone would want a great one munchak. What's going on, Soup? Ass is in here as well. Welcome on in. Are the lions not kind of like the tigers, both not hunted? Lions are hunted in some capacity more than tigers are. Commercially, anyway. NFL's going crazy. I'm I'm sure I'm missing some stuff. Isn't a muntjac smaller than a row? I think they're, like, corgi-sized? That might be a... Shouldn't compare. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh, corgi's the wrong... That's not even the right dog. No, that might be right. I don't know. Great one, Blacktail. I don't know if you saw, you might not have been here, but the thing Bottom Boy said a minute ago about bench legs. My hope for a Great One Blacktail is a bench leg. So a bench leg is a Mule Deer Blacktail hybrid. I want them to do that and then just give both Blacktail and Mule Deer Great One simultaneously. Duke, thanks for becoming a Shusty. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. If you're not in the Discord, be sure to join that as well. Link up the Discord with your YouTube. Said that wrong. Uh. <laughs> Make the most of that and enjoy the green name and emojis in chat. You saw one that you thought was a cat. Yeah, they're not big. The Roo Stuffy. I don't get, like, why they don't have a Call of the Wild logo on it or something. At least not that I can see. Munch at about 30 pounds. That sounds about right. It's about corgi sized, isn't it? Next up, great one, Corgi. No, we don't need to grind Corgis. It seems like a bad idea. Dallas signed Derrick Henry. I said unless somebody in here was lying to me earlier. <laughs> That's very possible. I believe everything that anybody says in here regarding NFL moves. There's some things that could be said that I wouldn't believe. Bench legs are what we call deer in California. I believe those are mule deer blacktail hybrids. That's where most, if not all, bench legs live. Biggest Rocky and Call of the Wild, I think it's like 509 or maybe 510. There'd be a reason to use the 22 Hornet. Actually, true. Sun's Corgi is 38 pounds. Thick. Sorry, Shadow's 26 or something, and 
she's not as big as a normal corgi. Do you do any long range shooting in real life? No. It's not something that, like, when I hunt out west, I probably do need to work on it and practice it some, but here, I don't hunt anywhere where shooting more than, like, 200 yards is even remotely reasonable, so it's not something I've ever felt the need to practice or felt the draw to do. Xavier McKinney... Wait, who is that? Is that the Dolphins DB or no? No, Xavier Howard's who I'm thinking of. Uh, okay, there is a max weight Bantang track. But he's not in this herd. First was a 512, not bad. Buffalo. I guess I just don't know who that is. I feel like I should know who that is. Uh, sorry to be this guy, but have you got anything good? Uh, we just killed a piebald red deer hind like maybe five, ten minutes ago. Stream right now. Okay, I can do it. I did it. Look at me go. Bench leg deer look like the legacy blacktail. Yeah, I mean, it. It kind of even made sense. You know, Pacific Northwest, you're sort of in the right realm. Maybe not exactly perfect, but, um... That's why I say that I think a great one... Blacktail muley hybrid, bench leg, would make sense. And then they just get, like, you get two great ones. And if you really want to go, like, all out, you could do a great one blacktail specific. So maybe smaller rack, maybe different furs. Great one muley specific bigger antlers, different furs, and then say like a crossover, this like the majority of them. Where have my max weight tracks gone? Need a muley and whitetail hybrid in the game? Those are like exceedingly rare, but it would be kind of cool. What's going on, Clark? I think I should make great ones more great, like twice as big as a diamond and like really fabled, like a 350 pound werewolf. I think that would drive more people away than attract them to it, personally. Oh, best boss for whitetail, sorry about that. Um, probably like Reventuli Coast in the mountains, like the northern part of the map. I think this was the area. I do be wanting a diamond bantang with this 300, so if this max weight track, even if it's a 4, although that'd be kind of like a diamond wildebeest all over again, I would try to get it. Was it over here, maybe? What's up, Liam? Just you want to miss the only interesting kill thus far. I mean, we've killed a whole bunch of crocs and stuff, but we did kill a piebald red deer hunt. That one, that one, where did I, there it is, okay. Figure this out yet. What do you think of more realistic hit animations? Um, like I think they're a big deal in Way the Hunter, it's something I really enjoy. I will say I notice it less now. Like I guess I would say the novelty of it has sort of worn off. It still would be nice to have, though. Is it worth the effort at this stage in the game's life to do it? Hard to say, but I mean, like, I would appreciate it if they added it. PB Rock is 519. Did they get that big? Oh, he was right here, too. These, uh, 7.62, aka the Mosin, needs a buff because the cartridge for it was a response to the 30 odd six. Yeah, it's, it's one of those weird ones where, like, as far as the actual power of the cartridge goes, like, the, how easily it takes down animals in this game, I think 3 to 7 is good. Um, it's sort of like the 6.5, but the opposite. The 6.5 is, like, the weakest class 4 to 8 in the entire game. And while it should just be a little bit more powerful than they made it, if they're going to leave it that weak, 
it should just be a 3 to 7. So like the Mosin could use a buff and go to 4 to 8. I don't hate having a good 3 to 7 like the Mosin, though it's got some weird accuracy things, so I never use it. There's almost no class 3 guns. We need something. So I, I like I guess the Mosin fills that role. What's up, Hunt Cross? Doing good, how about you? We are just strolling through Emerald Coast today. Did the did they officially trade him, Clark, or is it, like I saw he requested a trade? What do you think of what the Packers did today? So something with uh, Bakhtiari, right? Did he retire or like I saw a big post from him? They signed Josh Jacobs, released Aaron Jones. Is there anything else? Forty-four, three day. Yeah, it's just like it's very specific because it's got a lower, at least a lower max range because of the zeroing. That's huge. That's a guaranteed diamond level four. <laughs> There's two of them side by side. That guy's definitely going to make it. Well, well, well. If we can make the shot, we've got ourselves a diamond with the 300. See if we can line this up. That one has a chance. He's like, it's super wide set. That's why that guy's going to make it. Big meal. It's the mocha fur type too, which is going to look really good. We can make the shot from here. I gotta recover some heart rate, AKA some breath. And everything else is kind of turned broadside. So assuming he eventually does, we can alert him too, but wouldn't mind just getting a nice broadside shot. Kind of seeming like that's not gonna happen. As he turns, we'll just get his attention. Look at those emotes, soup. All right, here we go. Can we heart shot the big male? Can he sit still? Hey, nice. More satisfying that way. I don't even know if we caught that one. No, we did. Cool. All right. Well, there's really no, uh, especially when you drop it and it distracts, there's really no, like, oh, I hope he makes it or I hope he didn't mess it up. That's, that's a diamond with the 300 right there. He has to be, like, right on the precipice of being 5. Like, that estimate, 140 minimum, is absurd. And the other one might make it, too. I don't think he will, <laughs> but he could be close. We have not had a level 4 Diamond Bantang until now. Got the Vital Blood laying at his feet. Nothing can prevent it. 140.99. Heart and right lung. Not bad out of the 300, either. Like, there's a lot of flesh to get through until you even reach the heart. Punched all the way through and then some. Basically a 141 diamond. 765 kilo, we will take that. So we've managed, in early access, to get a diamond with all three of the new weapons. And to boot, we even got ourselves a little, uh, piebald red stag earlier. Did I mount that? I did, right? Pretty sure I did. <laughs> uh, how do you... I don't want to, like, leave because this other one's kind of decent, too. I'm going to assume I mounted that. Diamond with the 300, simple as that. Just had to run around for an hour and 15 minutes. Hey, thank you, Carolina. This one. Ooh, close, and we did mess it up. We hit him in the skull. He's uh, less than one away from being a diamond. Yeah, you ducked to run there. Would have been funny if we brain shot him. Not too bad. What'd you get? Just a little diamond bantang with the 300. So we killed a diamond wildebeest with the 10 gauge slugs in... Yesterday's video, I think? Yesterday, yeah. And then we also killed a diamond warthog with the 4570. That Bantang with the 300 makes 3 for 3 on the new weapon diamonds. It's gonna slightly make... I screenshotted not mount. Some of you guys are saying I did tax it. I'm not gonna be like terribly upset if I didn't tax it, but I would like to put it in the lodge. Anyway, um... It's gonna make tomorrow's video make a little less sense because I definitely am talking about trying to get a diamond with the 300 in tomorrow's video, but it's fine. Cool things happen in that video too. Sounds good, Soup. They should add a way to check mounts without going to your lodge. I totally agree. You did tax it? All right, good. What do you think of doing a six millimeter Creedmoor or 257 Weatherby slash 25 on six? Of the three, like, I'm just most familiar with the 25-odd-six. 
that would be a cool three to seven. Um, I think any of the three can be, but like at least sort of in like the hunting circles I'm in, 25 on six seems to be a up and coming caliber, I guess, especially for like women hunters, kids. It's a really le low recoil round with pretty significant like knockdown power. They could do a 240 Weatherby. How different is that from a 243? Like, I, I just don't know. I'm not familiar with that one. What the heck position is... I seriously don't know who Xavier McKinney is. You said he's from Buffalo. What position? Like, I cannot place who that is right now. I don't know why my brain is just like, no. Like, I know the name. But I can't think of what, what position he is. Hey, Angelic. How's things going? Africa 2.0 with the 557 Tyrannosaur. There you go. Still waiting for the... Why is my brain... It's not SMR 17. HMR. <laughs> unless, there, unless there is another one. He's a safety. What? Was he a backup? Because they had Poyer and... Other dude. Not McKinney, though. Poyer and, uh... God. What's his name? This is bad. I'm supposed to know football. The guy from Green Bay, I think. That's ironic, actually. Somebody here is going to know. 250 to 400 feet per second faster than the 243? Well, that's a big difference. Take a 416 Rigby over the 577. Micah Hyde, my God, thank you. I knew he was from Green Bay. That's the one. He made, uh, there's a, I think it was against Seattle, maybe? He had a crazy, like, one hit interception, but inverse of how it normally is. That was, like, the biggest highlight of him that I can think of. Just could not for the life of me remember his name. I think I shot that right in the spine. The Giants. Oh. That makes... Yeah, now I... That makes a little more sense. Now I'm placing it better. That's a good signing, then. Because I was so confused. I was like, it's Micah Hyde. Couldn't think of his name. Poyer. Uh, Hamlin. <laughs> just going to say, how many backup safeties do they have? How big was the Bantang? Uh, it was 140.99, I think. 25 on 6 has been pretty popular for Whitetail and Farm Country. Yeah, it's kind of like where I've seen it coming up. Along with 270. Is 270 getting more popular like the the uh, uh, 25 on 6? Gonna say hot 6, but that will get confusing. Hello there. A 30 on 6 is better than a 308, but not in the game. Yeah, some of the things the game does doesn't always make sense. Nice buck in your profile, thank you. Oh boy. Hey, there's a sandbar. Not really the... Uh, <laughs> not really the example I wanted to show you when it was running right in front of us, but... And also, didn't get to do it at all because it insta-dropped it. I think Sambar, with their class increase, also got a buff. Sort of hit him in the face and the neck, so... <laughs> that one doesn't count, but... I've shot a couple of Sambar with the 300. It's not insta-dropping them. It's killing them really fast. But I'm pretty sure, before the update, it would insta-drop them. Hope to go turkey hunting this year. Hopefully you can get out. Usually I don't end up killing one, but there's not much more exhilarating than even just, like, trying to work a bird in, like, getting the, you know, occasional gobbles, like, in response to your call, and they're getting closer and closer. Like, if you get in there early, too, and start working them from the roost, it's so much fun, but usually they find a way to <laughs> get away from me. The bungee cord on the 300? On the little, like, foregrip thing? 
please no one Higgins to the Ravens? Oh, hoping Ravens trade for Higgins. I doubt it though. Bengals wouldn't trade. So somebody, maybe it's incorrect, but somebody said Derrick Henry already signed with Dallas. Derrick Henry. I think somebody just accidentally read it backwards that Pollard signed with Tennessee. I don't see any sign that he officially went anywhere. So I figure Baltimore, or figured, Baltimore was going to get one of Derrick Henry and Saquon Barkley. Saquon's already gone, so I'm kind of assuming they're going to end up with Derrick Henry, and I'm not looking forward to it. They say turkey hunting is the poor man's archery elk hunting. I mean... I, it's a pretty similar, like, rush, I guess. I'm imagining elk hunting being considerably more adre uh, adrenaline pumping, I guess is the word. What's up, Mike? Doing good, how about you? Kevin's in here as well, welcome on in. Hungry, but I don't want to eat, why? That seems like the exact solution to your problem. Oh, is he? I missed that. Turkey hunting with a bow would be awesome. If I could ever get good enough to kill him consistently with a shotgun, that's my plan. <laughs> to start picking up uh, a spring turkey hunting with a bow. I think Cousins is going to do really good in Atlanta, Clark. I think they're pretty well set up. They really put together a quality defense last year. A lot of free agency signings. Um... I don't know how much, if anything, they're going to have to lose to pay a big-time quarterback, but I don't know how they're not the favorites in the NFC South now by a long shot. Cameron Johnston? Hey, I mean, we need a punter, so... <laughs> I don't know if that's a big-time swing. We need, like... I think Christian Wilkins from Miami would have been too big and too expensive, but we need a big-time interior D lineman signing, I think. Have you ever got a turkey? And if so, is there a video of it? I have not killed a turkey on film. I've killed a couple of turkeys, but honestly, those were... Uh, last time I killed a turkey, I think I was in high school. I'm just... I have a combination of being bad at the wrong times and just having horribly bad luck. Somebody... Didn't the Chiefs sign Matt Ariza? Acid? I think they did. I think they cut Tommy Townsend, actually. Which, did anybody get him? What's up, Hatchet? I'm so late, no worries, man. We've been out here just smoking everything in sight on uh, Emerald Coast. We have killed a Diamond Bantang. We had a... Actually, we messed it up, but almost killed a... Let me put that another way. Killed a Diamond Bantang that made it. Messed up an almost Diamond Bantang, but he wasn't anyway. And then a piebald Red Deer Hind, too. Are Road Deer able to make Diamond? Yeah. I think they're working properly. Opinion on a new crossbow? Here's the thing about any short range weapon or or bow in Call of the Wild. Call of the Wild doesn't do a good enough job of incentivizing bow hunting to make it worth it. Or slow hunting in general. Like in Classic, and I know I bring up Classic a lot, but Classic does a really good job of incentivizing bow hunting. It, it isn't completely silent. It's not as if you can have like you know, a deer two meters away and then shoot another deer and the one at two meters doesn't spook from hearing the bow shot. But you can kill like a lot of animals in a pretty like small space because they won't hear the shot so long as you make a drop shot. You gotta drop the animal distracts instantly or it'll spook everything. That and the fact that like spooking animals in this game really doesn't matter anyway. Like it's so easy, they go nervous. You can usually kill them pretty quick after you spook them. That's just not the case in Classic. You're generally just better off using a gun, so I don't know why they would really add another bow. Diamond Bantang troll a lot? I've had the kind of opposite uh, opinion, I guess. I don't see a lot of troll Bantang posted. Wilkins did not get traded. Did I say traded? I don't think I did. I thought so, Clark. I thought they'd sign Matt Ariza. Maybe I'm dumb. I swear I read that. 
Chiefs. Right. Yeah, two weeks ago. That's a video, so I don't want to click that. Chiefs make punter decisions, sign Matt Ariza. I think that happened. Robert Hunt signed with Carolina, the owner of the most impressive play that doesn't count. That's my favorite play that ever happened. <laughs> Van Ginkle to the Vikings. I don't like his name, but he is a good player. Is there still a Twitch stream on Sundays? Uh, Nightbot says there is. Does it really? We haven't we haven't done a Sunday stream in a while. In my lodge, I have a dilute mule and an albino or dilute whitetail. Well, there's no dilute whitetail, so it must be albino. What NFL team do you like? Steelers. If you're in my Discord, my profile picture, it'll only be for today because I don't want to confuse people more than I have to, but my profile picture is that Photoshop of Russell Wilson in Steelers uniform. What do you think the next map is going to be? I don't know. There's definitely an argument for the Nepal thing because of that weird uh, community tab poll. Was it community tab or whatever? Survey thing where they had Red Muntjac in there. We just talked about that earlier. Um, I still want an Arctic map, but I don't really think they're going to do an Arctic map. I don't really have a good sense of what I think they're going to do next. What did I miss? Uh, we've had a Diamond Bantang and a Piebald Red Deer Hind so far. Wish Saquon would have went out of division. I talked about it earlier, though. The, the Giants really did that to themselves. Like, franchising Saquon and re-signing Danny Dimes to an absurd contract. Like, I'm not saying Giants fans deserve what they get, because they don't. But the Giants themselves deserve exactly what they're getting for that. Hopefully they learn their lesson with their next, like, marquee guy. I don't think Sa I don't think Devin Singletary is a Saquon replacement. He can be, like, a partial Saquon replacement, but he's not as good. Munchak also exists in the UK. So this is going to be a dumb question, but I don't know anything about him. It was Red Munchak specifically. Are those the ones in the UK? Sorry, Dusty. It happens to be the the uh, first day of free agency. It happens. Singletary is meh. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's fine. Like, he's not a... I don't think he's a three-down back. Jaxie seemed like he was surprised at the way they went with the new map. Was it that, or was it... I remember him saying, like, something about we're getting those, but was that about the weapon pack? I forget. Oh, you're doing that. Is there any, like, UK species that's really jaw-dropping? I don't know enough about them. Think Red Munchak are the ones in the UK, but I'm not certain. Certain? Yep. Yeah, the one missing piece of that puzzle is the Jaxie reaction thing because I, I can't think of anything that other than I guess Mun like I guess Munchak could be like oh wow like I didn't expect that so maybe it could be as simple as that Giants thing to do yeah <laughs> they have wallabies in the UK I just don't think a wall of bees would be very fun I made that joke in a <laughs> call the wild multiplayer server recently I think that's what it was. Okay, let's try this again. No! Dang it. I want him to stand still so I can show you that Sandbar are tough now. Wilson is now a stealer, indeed. Are you okay? I know you didn't want Wilson. Um... Like, I'm neither doom and gloom about it, nor am I super excited about it. I'm optimistic that it can work. I don't know how many times I can hear Russell Wilson end an interview by saying, here we go, before I get tired of it, though. Gus Edwards to the Chargers. I like that, because Gus Edwards kills us every time we play him. He was odd about the map UK as Red Deer, Mutt Jack, tons of small game and birds. Yeah, that doesn't really... Hmm. 
Does the UK have those Pear David's deer, whatever it's called? I know that something Mel's always won in the game. Is Kenny Pickett still in the Steelers? Yeah, he's still under contract, so he's not going to go anywhere. You're probably right there, Eli, and I'm not going to like that. All right. We need to get this guy to stand up, and I'm going to try to shoot him broadside. I'm going to try to make the point that the sandbar deer are now tougher. There's literally zero chance that a 300 prior to this update wouldn't have insta dropped that thing. Like, it's not as if sandbar are tough to kill now. You can still bring them down very easily, but... They needed that buff, I think. They needed to be a little bit tougher. The models need to be bigger, too. In my opinion. It's sort of like the Axis deer on Parquet back in the day. They just need to scale them up some. And they'd be a lot better. There are pair of deer? Okay. I think that... Because they have crazy antlers. If you guys look it up, I think it's P-E-R-E, -E, David's deer. Might be how... Culligan spelled it too, but I thought it was pear. Yeah, it's, it's, there's like a whatever accent over the E. If you just look up images of them, there's, they literally grow some of the wildest looking antlers of anything. That could be a really cool one. You can't hunt them in the wild, they're basically extinct. Hmm. That kind of makes that problematic. They also have Chinese water deer. They're musk deer like, right? Do you watch any college wrestling? Probably never have watched any of it in my life, actually. Is that even televised? Bengals signed. Ooh, Geno Stone. That's a good signing for them. They lost uh they lost both their safeties, right, last year. I fence you can? I think they like. They're one of those things that's cool enough, I think they can make the exception and nobody's going to be really upset about it. Got them fangs. In Washington State, Moose is finally coming back. Oh really, that's cool. Is it Shire? I guess it'd be Shire's Moose out there. Uh, New game birds would be amazing because I grew up Hunting birds with my gramps, and I've kind of learned how to bring down some of the fastest game birds in Europe. So, like, I'm not, I need to try to preface this. I'm not at all against that. I really like, for instance, Revan to the Coast and all the different bird species there. I think the community at large is mostly big game focused, and that's probably why we don't see as many bird species or, you know, mechanics and stuff for bird hunting. We have the Retriever now, though. It wouldn't be a terrible thing if we had a better reason to use it. The Ox Ranch in South Texas. Breeze them? Okay. 600 left in the wild. Hopefully there's way more in captivity. Uh, we do have those deer I can't spell. I gotcha. Only in private collections, we have Munchak, Chinese Water Deer, Red, Rose, Sika, and Fallow. The thing about that is you'd sort of end up with another Emerald Coast then. Like, most of those things are here. I guess not most. A couple. It, but Emerald Coast is sort of like very deer mecha y. I, re I remember Beard calling it the deer mecha. What's up, Volt? Not really a hunt, though. Yeah, I mean, it would obviously be different in Call of the Wild the way they would do it, but I get what you're saying. Is the weapon pack still in early access? Yes, comes out tomorrow. Not sure what time, but usually, like, at least on the U.S. East uh, time zone, it's pretty early in the morning. 6,000 in captivity? Well, that's encouraging, then. Did you know nothing on Te Aoroa is native? Nothing in New Zealand generally is native, right? It's a lot of introduced stuff. There's probably something there, but they introduce all kinds of different things. That's how they've ended up with stable white tail and elk populations, like huntable populations. How you like the new weapons? I'm having a good time with them, man. The 4570 thing, I had so much fun going like 400 meter shots in yesterday's video. Oh, I did get that confused when I said about yesterday's. Saturday's video, we killed those couple of diamonds. We killed a diamond with the 300. Uh, shot ourselves a diamond bantang earlier. 
killed a whole bunch of crocs with it. It's a bunch of fun. The 10 gauge is sort of, you know, just a shotgun that I use sometimes, but we make use of it for birds. What, nil guy? So I don't know. They're one of those things. Like if you encounter one in real life or hunting them in real life, it's like really special because they're almost, I think, unless you have a range that's like high population of them, they're almost like encountering a ghost. Like it's a big, uh, like special encounter, I guess. But they, there's not, like they have just sort of tiny little horns. I don't know if in Call of the Wild, if they would be that special because like, there's not a lot of variety and stuff in them. They kind of all look the same. Mostly birds native to New Zealand makes sense. Tis an island. Did they fix small games getting across the ground? I know sandbar still do it. Are you talking about the like super speed running thingy? I haven't seen any fox do it yet here, so maybe. Where are we? Oh, we're really far north. Not a lot of variety in Ibex. You have people hunt them? Compared to Nilgai? Like, I'm talking about a level... Like, say they go to level 9. A level 1 versus a level 9, the horns are maybe going to be, like... I don't know, 30 or 40% bigger? Versus with an Ibex, like a level 3 versus a level 5, like you know you have a 5 at least. All dead are kind of like Nilgai. A big one's a big one. Their horns are kind of bland. Actually... I don't know enough about them to... I think I kind of think I know what you mean. I think all that are still a little... They stand out a little bit more, but... They don't grow like those huge impressive horns that a lot of sheep species do. Are they a goat or a sheep? It must be a sheep. Nah, nah, I got you, Danny. I just mean like... For... For finding a big one to be special, I think they gotta be at least a little impressive. I don't know if you could really do that well with Nil Guy. Jacksonville signed Gabe Davis. There's a couple of teams right now, like Jacksonville, I think uh, Cleveland, mm, Philly. A couple of teams that are like really going for it right now. I don't know if Jacksonville's got enough pieces there, but. They're moving in the right direction. Barbary Sheep? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Or I'll doubt it. I didn't know they had another name. They should add elephants and make them class 10 as well as adding weapons specifically for class 10. There's been probably 50 different suggestions for different ways they could add elephants. There's ideas of like you have to buy a permit for it, which I actually don't hate that idea. Um, because here's the thing, at least the way the game works now, if you were to add elephants, they'd be probably no challenge to hunt whatsoever. So, maybe if you had to buy a permit and there was only like one on the map and it could spawn anywhere, like no zones and stuff, that might actually be really cool. Or maybe if there's like three on the map or something like that. I think if they were just everywhere like any other species though, they'd be so big they'd stand out so much, where's the challenge? In my opinion, Acid, they gotta they gotta draft somebody. Their roster is not good enough. Like if you're if you're a quarterback away, you probably uh, draft Marvin Harrison Jr. and sign a quarterback. They're not a quarterback away. They got problems everywhere. Great one should be class twelve with a big male distinction. I mean, I don't know why they haven't done that yet. That seems like the logical choice to me. Sandbar are mini elk, that's why they should be... Are you talking about Sika? I just realized I think you're talking about Sika. Sandbar need to be larger models, though. On the topic of them. We need to go, like, literally anywhere else. Um, let's go up this, like... West River Creek thing. What's up, Southern Wind? Good idea to have one in no zones. Like, if you actually had to hunt for them, it might be actually worth adding them 
I don't know. I can just hear it though. Like if they add one and 80% of the community goes around and doesn't find one on day one, a bunch of people will be saying they're too rare and they don't like them and why'd they even add them if there's only going to be one and then they would probably end up changing it anyway. It's something that big though. Like you'd see it as soon as it pops into render, like almost anywhere on the map. Unless it's over a hill. That's like the only way. Most mock drafts have made in New England? Really? I've been seeing... Uh, generally, Caleb 1, Jaden Daniels 2, and then any of Bo Nix, uh, Penix, and McCarthy as 3. I don't really like any of those guys as the third pick, but it is what it is. Drake May's another Mac Jones. Drake May's got more upside, like he's got more talent. He, I kind of think he's the opposite of Mac Jones. Well, a little bit of Mac Jones. Drake May has a lot of, like, inconsistencies. But he's got, like, the arm talent and stuff to be high-end. Pat signed Okafor? Is it, or Okorafor from the Steelers? Um, I wouldn't, like, get my hopes up a lot. He's not great. <laughs> What's up, Zygerts? What animal do you have the most diamonds of? Probably Fallow Deer from the Fallow Grind. We killed more than 100 Diamond Fallow, and just even prior to that grind, there were a lot of Diamond Fallow we killed over the years, so I'd imagine it's that one, but you know, we've killed a bunch of Diamond Moose, Whitetail, Ibex, things that make Diamond often. That's a great question, Reinhardt. I have no idea. Make the elephants murderers like they hunt you down? They should be like as fast as, uh. I don't know, lynx when they sprint so you don't even know they're coming. Completely silent, just elephant assassins. This is a joke, by the way, I don't want them to do that. Uh, True Scout Man for Life for saying he didn't like the game plan? Indeed. Anything good this stream? Diamond Bantang with the 300 and Piebald Red Deer Hind. That ain't bad. Second nine legendary on Hirsch, 240 to 285. That's a pretty good estimate. I didn't even think of that comparison, Clark. They are kind of similar. Uh, Herbert's way bigger, but they've got, you know, obviously both Oregon. That's the part, the connection I didn't make. That's a nice fellow. But, you know, athletic, good arm guys. Just about to take that shot, too. You know what I didn't think of? Slow moving around. I bet you it's too far right. I know a way to ensure that we recover. Elephants actually don't make sounds when running due to their foot. There has to be, like, a shuffling sound or something, right? One of a missed, uh, Diamond Bantang, Piebald, Red Deer Hind. Do you know what time the new weapon pack comes out? I think it's usually early in the morning, Eastern time, but there's not, like, a set time that they release. Don't condemn Bo to being a Bronco. I have heard that he's the type of quarterback that Sean Payton would like. Want a second Africa map? Same. So much. We've basically been told that's not happening, at least not next. Yeah, too far right, like I said. Um, but I guess, you know, we can still dream <laughs> that we'll see one eventually. What level should I shoot in the bear grind? Are you trying to do herd management? I actually don't know. I think you're supposed to leave like fours and up or something. Can't wait for Steelers Broncos. There's going to be Steelers Broncos and Browns Broncos. Jerry Judy was uh, a little vocal about some stuff in Denver. So that'll be intriguing. Then obviously the Russ angle. Easiest great one to get? 
Yeah, I think Fallow. Red Deer seems to be pretty darn repeatable on Tawaroa, but I think Fallow overall tends to be the easiest. Hi. No, don't turn away. Oh, this is why you're my favorite. I was trying to figure out why you said not saying much, but I got it. Favorite Chiefs fan? Oof. Nasty on Fallow. Guess there was nothing decent there. What was that? I don't know if we spooked them, but we're just moving along. When will the next Way the Hunter stream be? Next Way the Hunter stream? Possibly Friday, but I wouldn't like bank on that one just because generally new Call of the Wild things will we'll normally focus on Call of the Wild. I probably will get away the Hunter video in this weekend though. If not a stream. At this point, I come here to listen to football talk. It's kind of like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe this is like a uh, word. What's that called? Conceited? But. I kind of think it's cool that people at least care enough about what I have to say about football that they ask my opinion on, like, things that don't pertain to the Steelers. And what I mean by that is, obviously I'm going to have an opinion on things that happen for my own team. But it's kind of fun when people are like, yeah, what do you think about, uh, I don't know, Saquon Barkley to the Eagles? And I'm like, you care enough about my opinion to ask me that? Let me tell you. <laughs> Kyla's itching to get that 300 AR. Every, you should see, every night in her sleep, you can just, you can see her recoil and she's shooting the 300 AR over and over in her sleep. She's ready. Or in her awakeness, because Shadow woke me up four times last night. Anyway. Who should the bats take at three? I'd take the, honestly what I would do, and I don't, I don't know if, is, is Arizona two? Who's the second pick right now? I think it is Arizona. I would try to trade up to two and get Jaden Daniels, honestly. I I think this is a Bill Parcells thing. It may have been Belichick, but I think it's Bill Parcells. He always used to say that you shouldn't try to get like the elite weapons, receivers specifically, until you have everything else in place. Like receivers are the last thing that you add. And especially now the receiver market and stuff, I think that makes perfect sense. Oh, Washington's number two. Eh, they're probably gonna want, want a quarterback. Well, I guess maybe you draft the best remaining quarterback, but I don't think Marvin Harrison Jr. makes any sense. I don't think, as talented as he is, I don't think he moves the needle enough. I think you're better off either getting a quarterback or maybe turning it into multiple picks, but I just think you try to swing for the fences and get, get a good quarterback. Arizona's four, okay. What type of dog is Shadow? She is a Border Collie Blue Healer mix. Already cooked because they hired Dan Quinn. I got you, Bolt. I, you know, in 2015, I think it was, or 13, no, 15, the last time the Pirates won anything, they had a little playoff run, and I watched a decent bit of that year. It wasn't just, like, because they made the playoffs, I watched a lot of it that summer. That was the last time I watched any consistent baseball. Normally, like in the spring when we go to Georgia, we'll watch the Braves, and I enjoy watching that, but I can't follow it like day after day. I didn't have the right gun. That was the 243. Kind of a problem carrying both the 4570 and 243 pistol. They look a little too similar. If you customize them completely different, that would help. I just didn't have that much forward thinking. Where do you think Derrick Henry's going to sign? Probably Baltimore, and I'm not going to like it. He still has a decent bit of tread on the tires for everything he's, you know, the amount of yardage and everything. We don't really have, I, I remember the Steelers playing Tennessee years back. And I think it was the year they were the number one seed. The Steelers did beat them. They got a huge lead and then Tennessee like hit a couple of big plays and made it close. But anyway, 
the way that the Steelers got the huge lead was they were stopping Derrick Henry. And what they did was, you guys remember Bud Dupree? He's with Atlanta now. Literally, they were lining Bud Dupree up over the ball. And whatever, like, whatever gap Derrick Henry ran to, Dupree just crashed the line right there and just blew it up. It was, you know, Dupree is a huge guy. He was 6'3 or something, 260. He was a massive dude. And he would just throw his body into the offensive line and blow up the run game. And it worked really well, but they don't have that guy now. And I really don't want to play Derrick Henry and Lamar Jackson twice a year. You can't crash the line when Lamar's going to keep it around the end. Like, I don't know what you do if that's their, if that's their offense. Really, that, that could be legit. What's up, Ian? Thoughts of Will Levis? Um, need to see more, but he has potential, I guess. I've only gotten to see a little bit of his game tape, but I didn't... So I didn't get to watch the game as uh, with under as much of a microscope as I normally would a Steeler game because it was the night my brother shot his buck with a bow and we were tracking it. But I know he nearly beat the Steelers and he played solid in a couple of games. What's up, Spencer? Uh, Diamond Bantang and Piebald Red Deer Hide we had today. Did Warhogs get a class change? I don't know. <laughs> Can we... Is it in the uh, thingy? There's an animals one, right? Or is it just this? Where's the thing where you... Oh. You know, it used to be way shorter than this. No. Which is weird. They're another one. Like, nobody talks about it. And not, even I don't talk about it. War dogs should get so much bigger than they are. Like the model size is way off. They should be the size of like the physical model size of I hate to use another pig in the game as an example, but probably about as big as the feral pigs and stuff. War dogs are big and they're tiny in this game. There's a couple of things that are like that. I mentioned the sandbar deer, like the axis deer used to be. Black buck are probably a tiny bit or a small bit too small. I don't know. Did feral pigs get a class change because wild hogs? I have to assume they did. I didn't look, but I'm assuming it's uh, one of the same. What were you going to school for before you decided to do YouTube? Uh, I was going for computer science, actually. Completely missed. Nice. I was basically wanting to be a programmer. I was, according to my college professor, I was a gifted programmer. I don't know how true that was. I was just like, I took a fairly advanced programming course in high school. And so I was pretty prepared for the college courses. Um, I liked it. It's just like the more I learned about it, the more I kind of learned what the job was going to entail. And it was a lot of like maintenance and fixing and like bug quashing and all that. And I just sort of like the creative side of it, like starting from scratch and making a new program, which is why I like YouTube. Or content creation in general. It's starting with a blank slate and making it into something. Are the hogs on Mississippi callable? Yeah, I think so. There's a wild boar model I want in the game that would look so much better than they currently do. Like, uh... word I want like a like a uh, one of those engine models that you can buy for like unity or whatever I cannot for the life of me think of the right word right now is that what you're talking about there like a pre-made model thought on Blake Corum uh, I think he can be like maybe a good one two punch back I don't think he's a three down guy but he has, I, I don't know what, what, did he run a 40 at the combine? He has like decent size and a good build to be a successful running back, but I'm not sure if he can be like an every down back. SRP or Verhanga? Uh, do Verhanga. You're getting the black bear change uh, tomorrow anyway, so might as well go to Verhanga and take advantage of the black bear thing once, once that's out. Tajay Spears can produce? Uh, well, they picked up um, Pollard. 
or maybe you're still talking in addition. I was gonna do college and I'm like, nah, firefighter's a lot more fun. It's uh it's a little cheaper than going into debt for student loans too. What's going on, John Deere? Uh, we had a diamond bantang and a piebald red deer hind. And you know what? We're pretty much right at the end here, so we're gonna try to kill a kangaroo or something here before we're done. And then we'll take stuff back to the trophy lodge. Think Terry McLaurin will ever win a Super Bowl? Eh, probably not with Washington. Like he's, what is he in year five or something? I, I think Washington might be able to get somewhere now that they finally got rid of Dan Snyder, but I think he's gonna need to get traded to a contender just because he's got maybe four or five more years of prime left, and he's gonna be just sort of a maybe a slot guy. The model I'm talking about is using a boar that I saw on Instagram. Oh, okay. Don't hunt black bear. I hate hunting at night. Fair enough. But that's why with the black bear change going to daylight, you might be better off going to SRP tomorrow. Yeah, you gotta go shoot them once. I mean, you can, like, if you shoot them in their feed zones and stuff, that will work too. Like, eventually you can work up to getting them the drink of the daylight. Or you can just try to go all at once in their drink times. Minshew to the Raiders? I wonder if they're going to try to make him the starter. That, like... I guess that's fine, but... He's probably not the guy I would target as my solution. How much is the weapon pack? I believe 4 dollars what do you think the next great one? I mean, what it could be, assuming they're going to stick with the base game animal thing, I think Roosevelt Elk or Wild Boar are the most likely. If by chance they're going to go away from base game, Mule Deer seems like the obvious one because I don't know how you could not make Mule Deer amazing. Like, you could mess up Mule Deer and they'd still be incredible. Um, just depends if they're if they're ready to go away from base game or not. That was, that was a thing. Just watch all those goats fall out of the sky. Uh, yeah, sure, Reinhardt. You can maybe throw it in the Call of the Wild trophy picks thing. Trying to be here every stream? Well, I certainly appreciate it, man. Means a lot, especially as, uh, you know, the further we go from the last map release, slightly less, I guess, interest around Call of the Wild, so I appreciate you coming back even as we're sort of just hunting the, a little bit of the same old, same old kind of thing. I guess that's probably our best option there. What level did you get your first diamond at? Uh, 50 something. I was... Or no, wait. Now, it might have been around level 30. I think that's what it was. Because what I remember is I got my diamond must deer and then literally like the next day Zaggy got his first diamond which was a red deer and there was a whole thing of like whose diamond was better and I was a lower level and I was like well, I got mine first and... I don't want to have to be level 60 before I get my first diamond. I'm pretty sure he was like twice my level, so I think I was around 30. I like college, but classes... So what do you like about college other than the classes? Do you just mean the experience? How can I get into hunting? Um, so this is a really... I've answered this question a number of times on stream, and I always struggle to like find a way to explain it well. I think the best thing to do is find either a family member or a friend or somebody who already hunts. Just the amount of knowledge you can get and maybe even like, you know, maybe instead of having to buy a gun, maybe they have a second gun they can let you use for the season or use for a hunt here or there. Just that kind of stuff can be a big thing. Like I would really try to find a mentor of some kind. I think that's the best way to get into it if you're like you know, from a family or just maybe just from a community that doesn't hunt much. All right. We'll take our Bantang to the lodge. I don't know where we're going to put him yet, but we'll find a spot. I got you, Danny. Sounds me. Not a model, but an actual boar that would be an impressive model. Okay, I got you. 
I wish Call of the Wild would rework animal models, antlers, and behaviors instead of a new map. In my opinion, it's why the new maps aren't even aren't ever spectacular. The animals need a reboot. We get to use something a little different than, yeah, just scheduled zone visiting. I'll give you that. I think they need new content, though, to keep people coming back. Like, it's a, it's a delicate balance. It really is. Finding a way to keep people coming back like I just talked about. But also improve the game significantly. Like, there's only so many resources and stuff to go around. So I'm not really sure, you know, what the best use of those resources are. Bison Great One? So there was that, um... We're in here, so why not? There was the Bison Bonanza multi-mount. Which is somewhere. Right here. Two European Bison. That came out a while ago. When we got the Great One Black Bear, with that update, we had a Black Bear multi-mount. This mount came out when the Great One Black Bear was released. It makes you wonder if they're planning on adding something, but there's been no uh, official information or anything like that. So this was a 143. The one that we killed with the bow is going to stay, because we didn't just kill this one with the bow. I actually don't know where we might put this thing. Should I take down a diamond grizzly? We've got a couple of grizzlies, actually. We'll do it. At least for now. I kind of like that the Grizzly fills the plaque better, but it's kind of cool. It's a level four. He's got like a Texas Longhorn looking thing going on there, like really wide set. I think that's going to go in that spot for now. So probably on that note, that's going to do it for this one. Will I stream tomorrow? Uh, I guess there's a chance, but I'm not planning on it currently. I haven't decided what I'm going to do. So I've got a video recorded for tomorrow. I might release that like around noon earlier in the day and then I've got the real life hunting video like that came out on Meat Hunters on Friday. Typically those videos drop on Friday on Meat Hunters and then Tuesdays on my channel. So I might just release that at 5 o'clock. We'll see what happens. I, I haven't officially decided but obviously there shall be uh, updates in the Discord. So if you're in the Discord, have your notifications on, you shall find out whatever the plan is. But at least as of now I'm not currently planning on a stream. Probably going to try to get uh, content moving for the week and see what's going on there. As always, though, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you in that video tomorrow back on Inward Coast with the High Caliber Pack.